This week in Star Wars, it is I, your host, Roosevelt. We bring you more cute pets and other Star Wars stuff, but most importantly, cute pets. Man, that dog's gonna put me out of a job. Hello, Kristen Baver here reporting once again from my secondary show set. We fancy, we have two sets now. Let's get to the Star Wars news. This just in, Star Wars The High Republic has revealed the first concept art for a few of the Jedi Masters and Jedi Knights featured in the upcoming publishing project. The stories are set about 200 years before the events of Star Wars The Phantom Menace, and I'm so pleased to deliver your exclusive first look at a trio of peacekeepers. Meet Jedi Avar Chris, the brightest, most noble example of Jedihood. There's also Loden Great Storm, a Twi'lek Jedi Master who was considered to be one of the best teachers in the Jedi Order at the time. And the quick-witted, if slightly impulsive, Jedi Keeve Trennis. We will watch her career with great interest. For more on these characters and a first look at other concept art of even more High Republic heroes, check out StarWars.com. Alphabet Squadron reporting in. The sequel to the novel by Alexander Freed, Shadowfall, may not be out until June 23rd, but today we have an exclusive first look at, drum roll, I'd be rolling on my desk right here with the drums, but I can't because I don't have the desk, but that's okay. It's Major Soren Keys, the commander back in charge of Shadow Wing, the deadly TIE Fighter Strike Force. Behind on the series? The first book, Alphabet Squadron, is available right now in ebook format for $1.99. Hasbro has recently announced some new additions to their Black Series and Vintage Collection lines through exclusive reveals with media in the Star Wars Collector community. Next up to be carbonized are both Boba Fett and a Stormtrooper from the Black Series line. Vintage Collection, you ask? K2SO and Clone Commander Wolf figures are coming to a toy box near you. And there are all new mainline Black Series figures, including Darth Vader, the Great Admiral Akbar, the Mandalorian in Beskar armor, and ah, oh, who's that? Tebow the Ewok. Head to StarWars.com to take a closer look at all those sweet new Hasbro sculpts and find full pre-order details. The dedicated fans who make up the thousands of screen-accurate cosplayers around the world in the 501st Legion have inspired a new LEGO set releasing later this year. And today we got our first look at this set celebrating Vader's fist. The long-requested set is 285 pieces and will feature an AT-RT walker, bark speeder, four LEGO minifigures, and two battle droid LEGO action figures. If you happen to have a printer and a Blu-ray of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, then StarWars.com is something special just for you. Yes, you at home. Earlier this week, we released three gorgeous and exclusive free printable inserts and slipcovers featuring exquisite concept art by Adam Brockbank, Christian Alsman, and Stephen Tappan. It's a quick craft to fully customize your physical copy of the final film in the Skywalker saga. And StarWars.com is full of other fun, film-themed crafts and stories this week, like a Dio door hanger and a look inside writing the new book, The Art of Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, from author Phil Shostak. Plus, for all you gamers who've played through everything you own already, StarWars.com has just posted some fun new Star Wars games events and deals to keep you busy while at home. And saving one of my favorites for last, tomorrow is once again the premiere of an all new episode of Star Wars The Clone Wars. This time we find Ahsoka Tano, Trace, and Rafa Martez have all been imprisoned by the Pikes in the episode Dangerous Debt. I don't know how they're gonna get out of this one. This week in Star Wars history, woo! The original Star Wars film won not one, not two, not three, but six Oscars at the 50th Academy Awards in 1978. The awards given were for Best Art Direction, Best Sound, Best Original Score, Best Editing, Best Costume Design, Best Visual Effects, and a Special Achievement Award for Sound Effects Editing. Okay, now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. <gasps> What's this? <gasps> Roosevelt, it's the winner of the cutest Star Wars pet and it goes to all of them. That's right, every Star Wars pet. This is one participation trophy we can definitely get behind. But here are a few of our favorites. Jackie shared this adorable picture of her pug dressed as an Ewok. Marcel the cat is riding a Tauntaun. He's riding it. Pixie here is guarding all of her favorite Star Wars friends and so is Bowie who is a super cutie. Porter had to borrow his human's bathrobe to get in the spirit and he looks great. Princess Leia looks regal in her Halloween costume. She is royalty. But that's not all. Check out these cool fish named after Star Wars characters. We here at This Week in Star Wars want to send you a huge thank you to everyone who sent in photos of their pets. Thank you. It brought us so much joy seeing all of their cute faces. If you need to pick me up, I highly suggest taking a scroll through the submissions using hashtag cute Star Wars pets. And before we go, this week we're asking to see your fan art. Not an artist? 
That's cool. Listen, I'm a writer, so I'm doing my best here, but here's what I made. It's uncanny. We want to see it all. Paintings, doodles, finger paint, and everything in between. From fans who are professional artists to anyone who thinks a stick figure is the pinnacle of their personal craft. Kids and adults are welcome because Star Wars is for everyone. Send in your own personal fan art using the hashtag ThisWeekInFanArt and we'll share some of our favorites next week. That's it for this week, but for more on these stories and other news from around the galaxy, check out StarWars.com. And be sure to join us right here for This Week in Star Wars every Thursday. Thanks for watching and may the Force be with you.